I don't want to say I told you I could sell it, but I was hoping I could tell you I sold it. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about maybe not a Bolo in the sense the way I sold it, but a very, very, I don't want to say I told you I could sell it, but I was hoping I could tell you I sold it. And guess what? I sold it. Now, I put the original video out 11 months ago, so it did take 11 months to sell. So many of you probably would have passed on this item. I picked it up at the Goodwill bins. I have some video footage. I'm going to show it to you now. And then we're going to talk about this bolo item. It definitely is a bolo, but more importantly, wait until you see it. This is a Mr. Potato Head and he has on Spider-Man. So I thought that was cool. I found some of these old flocked um, things here. All right, we got... I don't know what this says. Hinton. I think it says Noel. Hopefully I have all the pieces. Again, I was just throwing stuff from this box in my cart because ah, most of the stuff was pretty incredible. Uh, there's the E. So this right here is another one of the Gobel or however you say it. But look at this, you guys. I still bought it. I think I can glue the head on. It's an ornament and it's Lennox Disney. I don't know if it's anything good or not, but how sad is that? It's like a teacup ornament. It's incredible. Um, this might be a womp womp, but. All right, so you guys just watched the video. If you missed that video, um, I was in the Goodwill bins and I was there so long that I ran out of battery. And after I ran out of my battery, I found they brought out this cart with all of this Christmas stuff. And normally at my Goodwill bins, we don't get breakables. So I found it and I was so excited that I went to my car, I plugged my phone in to my car and I literally recorded from my shopping cart. So I will link that video down below if you wanna see everything I got that day. Super, super fun Goodwill bins trip. But anyway, here is the item that I sold. And it is, a Lennox teacup ride with Mickey Christmas ornament broken for repair. Now you say, Courtney, why didn't you just glue its head back on? And I'm like, well, because I'm a lazy reseller and I probably mess it up. But the head was there. The body was there. Everything was there. It was just broken. So this is probably a pretty easy fix. As you can see, I probably should have had my husband do it. But it seems like anytime I glue anything, it always looks like a hot mess. So I just left it broken for repair. You guys, I still sold the item. Um, I believe it sold for my full asking price. Let me just double check here. Of $16.25 plus shipping. I'm trying to remember if I accepted an offer. I just sold it. I'm sorry. I accepted an offer of $14. And the buyer paid shipping and tax. So $14 probably had a buck or less in it based on weight. So would you have taken the time to list this? Let me know in the comments. But more importantly, let's see if this item is actually a bolo. So I am over here on eBay and I am looking at the solds. You guys, here is one that is brand new in the box that sold for $28. Here is one that Oh, this one's personalized. So that's definitely going to be harder to sell because it says Jean on it. But it sold for $17.99. And here is mine that sold for $16.25. So I think most people would probably have one with a broken head than one that's personalized. What do you think? Um, because you can't really erase the name, but you can glue the head back on. But let's go over here and look at the active listings. And I know, I know it's not really a good comp until it's sold. But here are some of the actives. I think personally that this person started their auction at $28 and they probably could have listed it higher at a buy it now and just waited for the right buyer. But some people are just looking for the quick flip. So here we go. Here are some current ones. It looks like there is a Mickey and Minnie. They've got it for $99. This one is for sale for $84, $59, $59. 
Here's one without a box. Oh, wait, it says new in box. They took it out for the photo. 59. So here is what I would recommend. If you're going to do a photo and you have the original box, maybe put the box behind the item so that people know it has the box. Because I would look at this and immediately think it does not have a box. Right here, like this one. This is what I would do probably. Um, here's one, no box, 50 bucks. So Christmas is getting close. This one is personalized. So you can kind of just see the price points. Here's one right now at $19.99. So do you think that the buyer, um, do you think I did good? $14. Are you surprised it sold? Would you as a buyer have bought one for say $30 in the original box instead of paying $14 for a broken one? Let me know in the comments. Now let's go over to Mercari. Mercari does not have very many solds and they're a little bit different. I would say this one, um, well, actually it says set of two. So let's click on that and let's see if it has Mickey. So this has Mickey and Minnie and they sold it for $50. So I'm feeling pretty good about my broken teacup that I got $14 for. What do you guys think? These two right here have both Mickey and Minnie, but they're in like a little teacup. And I think it's supposed to represent like a carnival ride. Now let's look at items for sale. Um, here's one for 35 and that's really it. So Mercari is a great place to look at sold prices because they do not have buyers can't pay. You automatically get paid when you sell something on Mercari. Automatic payment. <laughs> like they take their payment right then. Now you don't get paid until they get their item and they leave you feedback. So there is a little bit of delay in payment, but you know you're getting paid. You know the item sold. It's not like eBay where you have to sit and wait for the payment. So if you're not on Mercari, I definitely recommend it. It is great, great, great for selling. And if you use my referral link down below to join Mercari, you're going to get $10 to shop and you're going to get another $20 when you sell $100 worth of items. And I would say that searching solds on Mercari, it, it's a great place to look up comps also. I don't know if you have to actually join Mercari to look at solds or not. So something to think about. All right, you guys, just a short little video here to show you that broken items do sell. Could I have just tossed it or donated it? Absolutely. Did I make a ton of money? No, but somebody's probably really happy getting that item for $14. They're going to glue that head back on and it's going to look like a brand new item. So let me know down in the comments, would you have bought it? Would you have listed it? Or, because I can't remember, I think I opened the packaging in the store. I'm pretty sure I did. I unwrapped everything. But man, I was just throwing those Christmas items in my cart. They were amazing. So check out that video down below. I'll link it. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And yeah, thanks for watching.